Leaving from London, the British Treasury expects the UK economy to grow by 7% this year, almost double the 4% predicted by the Office for Budget Responsibility. During the Chancellor's reading of the much-anticipated budget, almost £6 billion of investment into the NHS was unveiled, as well as a new £1.4 billion investment fund to attract international companies to invest in Britain. Deutsche Bank has reported its fifth consecutive quarter of profit despite a fall in revenue at its investment banking unit. For the three months to September, the bank reported a net income of 194 million euros. Analysts had estimated income of 135 million. According to Reuters, it's the bank's longest streak of quarterly profit since 2012. Like most of its rivals, the German lender benefited from a steep decline in provisions for bad loans related to the pandemic. Google owner Alphabet has reported better than expected profits and earnings for the third quarter. Over the last three months, revenues rose 41% to $65 billion. This is the group's largest revenue figure in 14 years. The main drivers of growth were the company's iconic search tool, which increased to $37.9 billion, and YouTube ads, which soared to $7.2 billion. Alphabet's stock is up 58% this year. And Zhong Shan Shan, a 67-year-old bottled water baron, has become China's wealthiest person with a fortune estimated at just over 60 billion US dollars. Ranked third last year, Zhong has seen his fortune swell after his pharma company, Wan Tai Biological Pharmacy Enterprise, tapped into the huge demand for COVID-19 test kits. According to the Huran China Rich List, Zhang Yiming, founder of TikTok, owner ByteDance, took second place with $52.8 billion. Alibaba's Jack Ma had held the top spot in the previous two years, but now trails in fifth place. And those are your main stories from London at Close of Business.